Alright, welcome back. So, last time we left off, our character was not even aiming at our guy properly. So, if we were to just uh, play it, get it, shoot it, and just walk a little bit, our character would miss shooting us by a few seconds. So, what we're going to do is we're going to install some predictions so the character doesn't just shoot straight, but also predicts where we're going to be and shoots at us, and then give it some variances. <laughs> Alright, so, how do we do that? Um, quite a few things, actually. It's not that hard. It just requires a little bit of math. Now, before we do that, uh, we're going to need your basic math function which is basically your what do we call the speed function and what this does is it's your regular x squared plus y squared plus z squared and the square rooted and then we return it as a public double speed now this will give us our uh, speed of how fast the character is going um, we use the linear velocity to check that out and the linear velocity is our total movement speed and well they did the hard part for us so we got the easy part so that's our rate of change our velocity all right and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using this uh, to determine a few things uh, especially in our shooting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot and it's gonna go a little bit further now the next thing I'm going to do is actually go into the bullet and change it to f okay yeah good it's already changed to five speed now for uh, shooter AI there's no changes I don't know why it does that but anyways so let's say we go back to shoot um, we can do a few things uh, the first thing we can do is actually render uh, some visualizer so it can help us so visualizer render and we're gonna render I guess two or three things we're gonna render one a point where we should be aiming uh, the future point where we would be stepping on and we can also render a line between where it's actually facing us so let's render all those quickly Alright, so now that we have our renders, we're actually going to code this right now. So, for future point, what we're going to do is we're going to take our main character. So, we're going to go to our main character. And then we're going to take its world position. And then we're going to add it with that velocity and normalize it. Not the speed, but the velocity. So, main character dot linear velocity the body's linear velocity dot normalized all right so now this is going to give us a little bit of an error and that's because it's supposed to be a double vector three all right so we got that now the thing is this is also going to point to the floor so we're just going to add a little future point dot z equals to one so that just moves it up a little bit up and just gets that uh fixed over there now for the mat 4 this is going to be our object and what we're gonna do is well we'll just call it a new mat 4 Got that. all right and then it's gonna ask for two things it's gonna ask for uh, well there's a few overloads but we're just gonna use the one that's pretty easy that's gonna be the quaternion rotation and the vector position so for our rotation we can just do main character dot get rotation that's uh, and we can get the world rotation and then for position we can just use that future point all right now it's gonna give us a little bit of error and that's because uh, no, 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 no. oh yeah that's because of this there we go and now we fixed that we fixed this and now it's gonna render it so we're just gonna keep all that in the render 
All right, so now we have a render, and what we can do is we can now shoot and check it out. So as we shoot it, you can see the render. That's where it expects us to move in that few seconds. So now we can actually make it point there. Uh, the yellow dot is a bit too big, but yeah. So now as we move, it can expect us to be going that way. All right, so now we have a speed problem and we have some uh, other issues. So we can fix that all right now. And to fix all that, we're going to take a few uh, things. So first things first, let me turn this into like a 0 0.05F. It was too big. Um, so we're going to be using some doubles. So distance. All right, and this distance is going to be uh, matlib.distance. And we're going to take the distance between future point and the main character's world position. So this is going to be the distance, or we could just say distance, uh, future distance. All right, so that's the future distance. Then we're going to say... Um, we're gonna do uh, distance that's between the two characters, so we can just call it distance. It doesn't really matter. And then we can just use the same here, but I think I wrote it somewhere else. Right here, I guess. Node, well, position, and no, not this one. Somewhere. Ah, here it is. So we can just take this one and we can put it here. So now it's the distance between the main character that we have and the uh, node or our AI. And then the last thing we're gonna do is actually the speed and we're gonna get component and we're gonna get the physics controller, All right? inside our node bec or the main character actually inside the main character dot get speed so that gets us the main character's uh, speed okay sweet so we got that going now let's actually calculate these things so we have our future distance we have our distance and speed we can do a little bit of uh, your favorite physics so we can change the way that we do uh, technically this line. So instead of just shooting straight, we can add some logic. So we can add like a, an if statement. And we can say if speed, because we have a speed, we don't really need to do any calculations. We can just pick up the speed. If speed is less than equals to one and speed is greater than zero so if the speed is between zero to one right now there's a difference between why we're doing this but it's very important that we do because uh, uh, it's not real life so there will be some complications so we're gonna be taking these two uh, functions and we're gonna be playing around with it all right so with uh, if the speed is between one and zero, we're gonna do bullet world look at. So it's moving a little bit, so it's a tiny amount of movement. So we're gonna be looking at mm -hmm, uh, the main character's world position, future, and position. So how do we do this? Uh, we're gonna then main character world position and this won't work because what happens is uh, let's press play to find out so if we write this function we just press play and we shoot you can notice that he does move there and if there was no friction involved or nothing or if the speed was full we would definitely get there in that time now 
if I were to increase the speed, it would still be the same thing, but that's not what we're looking for. We have a ratio or a certain percentage of how far we actually are compared to the speed of how fast we will get there. So that ratio is your basic velocity equals distance over time. So we're gonna just uh, play along with that since we don't have uh, well, since we have the speed and we have the distance right we can use that to calculate the time or the ratio it takes to get there so what we're gonna do is we're going to lerp and we're gonna lerp between our main characters world position and our future point right and we're gonna lerp at a floating precision of uh, the future distance over the speed. No, it's the other way around. It's uh, speed over distance, sorry. Right? Because V equals to D over T, so T equals to D over V. But since we're doing it in a fraction, it's going to take a while. We'll see where this goes, and then afterwards I will... Uh, no, it was D over, V over D equals T. Okay. No. Anyways, before I get confused, I'll, I'll switch this. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, we're going to do the dot bullet and object body rigid. Add linear impulse and we could just add the same thing over here so instead of me writing it down I can just do this <coughs> and in terms of uh, the speed of how fast I want it uh, we can actually do a really simple thing instead of doing a specific number we can actually choose the actual distance that we have here so we could do uh, float, uh, oops, distance, all right, and that connects our distance function with that, it will give us the speed of how far it is versus how fast we're going to shoot it, if it's close it's not going to shoot it too hard, if it's far it's going to shoot it really hard, now we can make it constant, but video games are not reality, uh, you have to play around with some stuff, so, now, we can also write an else if function because now that we have a speed between 0 to 1, we use that linear interpolation or the ratio between the positions and get that and it will shoot there. Now, what if the speed was greater than 1? Greater than 1. Uh, what we can do, actually, is we can actually then look at the future position because uh, because now it's going faster than our speed being one which is that the ratio is a lot, a lot faster so we can uh, world look at and future point oops okay so now that we do that then we could just add the linear uh, impulse right but we also need to add that ratio so we're just going to take that line that we just did. Alright. And then we're just going to do that. And of course it's giving me an error. And the error is... Alright. And that was the error. And that fixes that. Now let's say if he's not even moving at all. Alright. We can do this. If he's not moving at all... Then we could just do what we were doing uh, before, right? Am I right or am I right? And then we just copy and paste this. And instead of 50, we just do that times float distance again. Simple enough, a little bit annoying, especially if you're like, why am I using speed over future distance? But Hey, if it works, it works, you know. Um, let's 
see. Why did this not? Okay. Anyways, so that's our object and that's our creation. Let's play it out and see if it actually works or if I'm just being crazy. So now, now that I'm straight, he's just gonna shoot straight at me and I lose health. If I move, he's aiming exactly at me and not at the dot because that's how fast I am. And then once I move faster, you'll notice, oops, too fast. You'll notice that he's still correctly autoing me because we did our physics and we made sure that he does auto us properly. Okay, right, let's move the other way just to check. All right, so as we're running faster, he's still aiming at us properly, and now we have a proper, uh, oops, and I died. And there you go. So now we have proper predictions. So what else can you do with this? Now, since he's 100% attacking you at a specific distance, there's, um, because this isn't, or there's a certain range before the friction slash coefficients and you know just uh, being a game and not a real life uh, simulator you'll actually have chances to run away or stuff but let's say at the off chance that this is perfect precision with physics how can you make it so the game's easier or harder so you add a certain uh, amount of grace period so you could say that this is your precision coding and what happens is it gets 80 percent towards this ratio right so we know the ratio is exactly this we know that's the hundred percent uh, chance so what you do is you take it and times it by uh, percentage to say uh, or you can have like a randomizer and the moment it, it gives you a hundred percent chance then you can implement these codes and have a perfect shot other than that you can have somewhere close but not the same place so something like that will work but for now we have our uh, prediction and he's shooting exactly at where we are gonna land and that's perfect so with that done I will say see you all next time all right goodbye